and we'll eat again with what's my name again and this is my daughter she is about seven weeks old uh, so I'm a father and this video would be about naming babies in Hebrew you know, so cute so since my wife and I found out uh, that uh, she's pregnant uh, we were very curious if it was a boy or a girl uh, so in about 14 weeks we found out on the ultrasound that there's no penis there so they have it a girl so we've started to write our own lists with names we like of course we seldom agreed on the same name so we had lists writing those lists a good thing to do is to look at the Israeli statistics when looking at the Israeli stats we found that the most common name for boys was Noam and the most common name for girls was Noah as you can see most names here are Hebrew and actually biblical even my own name Jonathan is somewhere here uh, by the way as you can see these names are from the Jewish population the Muslim population in Israel mainly uses Muslim names and the name Joseph is common in both populations and if I showed you the table from 2016 you would see different names you would see names like Nicole for the girls or Kevin for the boys the reason is that the tendency of Hebrew versus foreign names in naming in Israel is kinda like a sine wave years of Hebrew names and then a couple of years of foreign names and then they return to Hebrew names etc so we decided to name our child Ayala. Ayala meaning so it's an animalistic name which means named after animals and this is pretty common in Hebrew names when uh, there are many names of animals in Hebrew Arye, a lion and Levia, a lioness Ze'ev, a wolf Dov, a bear Tzviya or Ofra which means also kind of antelopes and deers and Re'em, ram Dvora is a bee uh, Tzipora is a female bird and Dror is a sparrow funny thing is that animal names are considered more feminine whereas tree names and plant names are considered more masculine in the Hebrew Israeli culture at least now for the second name you see it is very common among uh, Jews as in other cultures nowadays to give a double name sometimes a triple name so we thought of a second name now choosing a second name in Hebrew tradition is based on your origin there are many origins of Jews around the world the diaspora now the two main groups are the Ashkenazi group which is Jews uh, of European or Germanic descent which lived among Christians and Sephardic and Mizrahi Jews which uh, are from Iberian and Eastern descent and they lived among Muslims uh, the traditions of course merged and that is why uh, there are some cultural differences for example Ashkenazi and Mizrahi Jews pray the same prayers but in different melodies or in different order after almost 2000 years separated now naming traditions also have differences among these populations Sephardic Jews would name a child after a living important person in the family for example if there's a grandfather who is revered by the family many of his grandsons would be named after him in the Ashkenazi tradition to which I belong it is not common and considered a bad luck to name someone after a living person and you only name someone to commemorate the dead so it is common that a name would repeat every couple of generations in my family tree for example the name Nachman repeats among the uh, males every second generation because there was some Nachman before who died and then his grandson and then him, his grandson so the same name would be common among cousins giving a name to commemorate shouldn't be exactly the same name it is common to have the first letter of the name to commemorate so for example my cousin has a daughter 
whose second name is V, the letter V to commemorate his grandmother Valentina. In our case, Ayala got a second name, and her second name is Reef. It could be a reef like the one in Eilat, with dolphins and corals. Uh, and it could be a riff like in music, and that is the way I prefer it. But the word itself is an abbreviation of the names of my grandfather's sisters, Rachel, Judith, and Frida, who were killed during the Holocaust. So in order to commemorate these women, she got a second name with their letters. So, welcome Ayala Riff. If you have a child coming along and you want an advice about Hebrew names, feel free to contact me. And see you again sometimes in the near future. Shalom Israel.